there, I'm Slightly Froggy. Welcome back to my stream. Today I'm continuing my playthrough of Life is Strange 2. We're going into episode 4. We just wrapped up Wastelands in the previous stream, and it didn't go great. <laughs> I mean, according to the stats at the end, it could have gone way worse. But at the same time, didn't go super well either and i don't know who's alive hey who's like said some people got hurt i'm not sure but welcome back to the stream rock tree i hope you're doing well tonight where you are so we'll uh we'll see where things go <laughs> because we know that somebody is on their own we don't know if it's daniel we don't know if sean made it out of it uh, we just know that if if he is still alive uh, he's definitely gonna need an eye patch that's for damn sure uh poor kid's not gonna have depth perception anymore oops choices <laughs> so i'm i'm glad we're getting a i don't want to say a resolution i'm glad we're getting the next step in the story so quickly i kind of mentioned this at the tail end of the last stream that I would hate it if I was waiting episode to episode. Like, if there were, like, months in between and I didn't know what happened or, like, what the fate of our characters were. But, uh Hey there, MG Tower. Welcome back to the stream. And JJ, welcome back as well. Hope you're doing well tonight. Sean's gonna be a pirate and how to do his rap sheet. Ugh. Honestly, at this point, why not? Like, if anything, I would think that if if he is alive and he does have like an eye patch of some kind he wouldn't look like his picture anymore he would definitely be very noticeable though i think whatever goodwill they would get from strangers or like passers-by uh unfortunately i feel like more of those opportunities would go down if you uh are missing an eyeball i don't know i feel like people would be like suspicious of that hold on a minute before we get started, we're going to give folks a few minutes to file in, but I just noticed there is a slight problem with my streaming software. Let me just make an adjustment. Oop. Maybe that'll be better now. There we go. I was... I didn't have the music there for a minute. I accidentally had my monitor set up to play on the outside speakers and not the computer audio. Good thing I fixed that now, or else we really wouldn't have heard any music. As opposed to occasionally, it would have been 100% of the time, so. Good thing I caught that early. Whew. Normally it's my microphone it messes up whenever it doesn't update. That was a new one. But, uh, yes, we were watching uh, debatably the worst episode of Star Trek The Next Generation tonight. We've been slowly going through a rewatch of it, and we got to season one, the second last episode, Conspiracy, which is not a good episode. Like, you could see that they were, like, trying out a few things, and you could, watching other Star Trek series were, like, you get, like, villains that infiltrate their way into the organization, into Starfleet. It's like, you can see notes of that, but, like, Conspiracy does it so goofy, because it's like, what if it's a bug that attaches to your brain? Like, and it's it's just so goofy. And I'm sorry, the scene at the end is always going to make me laugh. I know for some kids out there at the time back in the 80s that watched it were scared by that episode, because it's this graphic scene where this man's head explodes. It's, and I'm sure on, like, the standard televisions of those days, it looked pretty freaky. But when you're watching it in 2023 in HD, it just looks like a clay head exploding. And the impact just isn't there. <laughs> it looks goofy. I'll see, I'll try and remember to post it in the Discord. Just of that clip, because it's just, it's... It's odd. I don't know. It's a weird episode. It's probably one of my least favorite episodes of TNG. Some people would say it's the episode where Beverly has sex with the candle ghost. And that's up there. I would argue conspiracy is worse. 
I love that somebody's going to hear, who has no idea about Star Trek is going to hear me say that, and they're going to be like, I'm sorry, what? No, no, you heard me. Sex with a candle ghost. All right, I'll give it another minute or so, and then we're going to hop in, get back to this game. I need, I need a resolution here. <laughs> it's a ghost that lives in a candle. So it like it looks like a person. It's not like a ghost that's also a candle. It's just the ghost lives in the candle. Arguably what makes it worse is that the candle and the ghost previously belonged to her grandmother. She and the ghost had a thing. So now it's like a weird multi-generational thing. S Star Trek gets weird sometimes. Like, <laughs> Star Trek can have some amazing, fantastic episodes that, like, really explore, like, the human condition and, like, how we approach people who aren't like us. Some of them really make you think, and then other times it's a lady bangs a ghost that was living in a candle. I love the show anyway. I love the franchise. You gotta take the serious with the goofy. If it was all serious all the time, I mean, that would probably be fine, but I like this more. I like having the goofy episodes mixed in there. Ooh. It is a fun show. It's really good. I It took me a bit to warm up to it. I know when it was originally kind of when the tone was put out there for the first season, people are like, oh yeah, it's like Rick and Morty-esque. And like, admittedly, I have watched like a bit of Rick and Morty. It's just not for me. I don't know what it is. Like, I, I have nothing against it, but it's just not my kind of show. So I was a little wary at first when Lower Decks was starting where it's like, oh, it's Star Trek, but it's Rick and Morty. And it's like, all right, let's give this a try. But... I've really grown to, like, I really like the show, honestly. Like, you can tell it's made by people who are, like, real, like, ride-or-die Star Trek fans. Because, like, I'm not, I'm not going to claim to be an expert on Star Trek. I'm a new fan. I haven't watched everything. I haven't even watched all of, like, the original, like, the original series movies, or even the original series. I've seen, like, the first season and a half. But there's a lot of fun little references in there. Like, there's, there's some fun stuff in there. Their take on the whole Tuvix thing is just, like, amazing. Chef's kiss. Love it. 10 out of 10. So good. But anyway, I think it's time for us to get started. To see what has happened to our poor boys. Wild Mass Ranch. Steve Holmes. 14 miles ahead. Call 775-555-0142. It's, it's a terrible accent. I'm sorry. It just felt fitting given Once the setting. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. Ah! And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. He could do things with his mind. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick, and they had to move on. No, there's mushroom. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors, and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The police needed to kill another small child. The brothers had nowhere to stay again. I say another. So they decided the first to keep going one. south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. That's, that's one thing the to call it. The brothers joined them secret and farm. worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. 
they were happy to find others like them. And everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. Still couldn't quite control it. The though. big brother hooked up with a cool she dog. <laughs> <laughs> they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. <laughs> Your actions and decisions will have consequences. Choose wisely. I'm trying. Please. I'm trying. I really am. I promise. It's just a lot. Actually, while this is playing, hold on. Allergies. Oh, hey! It's back, uh... The old trail there. Huh. <laughs> I mean, it's a horror movie staple. You have sex, you die. I got so used to him with the longer hair. Now seeing him again with short hair, it's just like, ah. It's a baby. And another baby. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Wish I listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes. I swear. Uh, stop! Oh, yeah, hair's gone. Who brought him to the hospital? Who, who's got the money for that in America? Two months. Ooh. Hey there, Olaf. Welcome Fuck. back to the stream. And it, yes. Daniel. I keep. Yay. Ooh. Stupid reality shows. So I didn't mean to interrupt his train of thought there. Oh, I can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Date March 26th, 2017. Was in a coma for weeks, blind and fucked and in police custody, going to jail soon. Hospitals freak me out, hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. March 30th, tried to draw to kill time. This room is like a cage, but I suck now. No depth perception, no art, no shit. Focusing equals immediate migraine. Going crazy in here, woke up crying. Oh no, not the draw, oh, his drawings. A bit better. April 3rd, special secret agent Flores. She's trying to bond with me. Trap me or trust me. So fucked. Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion, so he's out there. Alone? Oh, oh, meant to hit next page. Then read. 
Happy birthday, Daniel, wherever you are in Yana. <laughs> Sorry, I just butchered that. But April 15th. 2017, Claire and Steven sent me a nice letter. So lonely, I read it twice. Weird how I miss them now. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit, too. <gasps> he's okay! Glad to hear he's doing fine. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. Oh my god. Okay, he's okay. He's okay. I didn't kill him. <sighs> April 20th, wish I could hear Cass play again. All those songs are gone, but not our time together. I fucked Daniel up. I let Finn become his brother. Oh, you can't you can't blame yourself for that. Just going through it. Should we try? Oh no! Oh no! Uh, oh, I didn't think of that. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> oh, this is going to turn out terrible. Or he's going to be like, I need to stop my head hurts. So hard to focus. Yeah. <clears throat> Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. You can do it. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Come on. Oh, it's come together. It's not bad. Hey there, Qua. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Let's draw a staircase. Ah, that's all right. I w we were a bit late to start tonight. I was, uh, I was held up a bit. I was finishing watching a terrible episode of Star Trek. <laughs> there we go. Wish I could find a highway to freedom. Better than a highway to hell. Start any drawing in episode four. This must be my punishment. What is that? Like, what is it supposed to be? Can't catch shit. <sighs> Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. He can still run, though, right? Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Oh, you Can't you wait to, to text you. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. Okay, so we got... What else do we got? Ooh, Cassidy's letter. I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her. Howdy, city boy. Bet you're surprised to hear from me. I found out we were in the same hospital from the police after we were questioned when I was checked out a month ago. So I took the chance to write and hope you get this. Wish I could say everything I want, but you never know who's reading, right? If anyone else is reading this, fuck you. I truly hope you're okay after what happened. As for me, I don't remember much except the explosion at Merrill's office. Then I woke up in the hospital with blunt trauma, healing, and what the doctors call blast lung injury, hurting. Just glad that I can still play guitar and sing. Not that I feel like it. You learn a shitload about medicine stuck in a hospital bed. As I'm sure you know, my sweet compadre, still working on that Espanol, miss my lessons and my teacher. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah, Penny, and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us gutter punks toiling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but got no answers. Surprise. So, with Finn and you gone, our rail family is kind of broken up. Now we're just a lonely trio train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're going in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same, and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? Maybe I'll have a whole new set of blues songs for the road. I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation, and you will get the justice and freedom you deserve. You and Daniel are amazing brothers, and I hope you find your way home soon. I hope we can swim naked again under new moonlight. It's a big world, and maybe we'll meet again someday. I'll always be singing your song. Love and peace, Cassidy. Aww. That's sweet. It's sad, but it's sweet. Sick wolf tattoo. All right, what else do we got? Oh, other letters. Oh. Pat Stevens' leg is better. 
Must be tough on Claire. Sean, we are grateful to find out that you were safe and awake. The police contacted us when you were found unconscious in Humboldt County. We weren't allowed to visit you in the hospital, but we want you to recover ASAP. The doctors say that you woke up from that coma stronger than before. Really? The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We're helping the police any way we can. Thanks. They really want to help find him too, Sean. Hopefully this reflects well during your trial. We know this must be hard for you after everything you and your brother have been through. You're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. Remember, you are family and we love you. We hope to visit you and Jelena Shore as soon as we can. Take care, Claire and Stephen. P.S. Chris insisted to write a little note. It's attached to this letter. P.P.S. He doesn't know Daniel is missing. That hurts. I'm so glad Chris is okay. That kid is a real superhero on his own. I'm so glad he's okay. Hi, Sean and Daniel. I hope you are okay. I'm fine, but I miss both of you a lot. After my accident, I had to wear a stupid cast forever. I was trapped in my room all winter. Sucks. But summer's here, and I can play again. All the snow is gone. You should come back to see Beaver Creek without the snow. I will be waiting for you, Chris, and Captain Spirit. P.S. We need to save Beaver, Beaver Creek from swamp bugs. Uh, I know. I'm so glad he didn't die. <laughs> it was, I, like... We didn't get confirmation on what his situation was. All we know was they got hit, he got hit by a car. I would hope that they got a good payout from that because a cop was driving that car. But. All right, let's, uh, might have to call Joey. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, guess I'm done. Nothing else to look at. We just... This day feels like every other day. It's a private room Yay. at least. Okay. Nobody okay. shows. Yo. Hey! Hello, sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Uh... Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm. Going to jail. Blame you. I don't have an eyeball. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that <sighs> smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. Get a it's cool glass eye? Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Yeah. Before they... Check you out. Check me out to Juvie. He's just going yeah. to Juvie. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. I mean, he's, Don't blink what, 16, 17? Just 17? stare at the light. Hold yes. the mouse steady to not nice blink. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Good. Good. We're doing good. Keep we're going. we're winning. Quick response. Nice. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you got to turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. What? When locked, press to try and see if your pen is aligned with Joey's. Okay. Your depth perception will always be affected, so you got to try harder. Oh. <sighs> Shit. Hey, hey, good job. Okay. Let's do it again. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Nope. 
A little bit more. Yeah, ah, that's enough. Dang it. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, uh, your depth perception will always be affected. Remember, this is Here, forever. Read this. Patient cleared. Woo! I'm a pirate without a patch. Arr. I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. Well, I know it sucks for you, but... <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now, you don't really have yeah, severe side effects anymore. As soon as yeah. I saw him in the bed That's there, just it's great. just like, well, there's I that haircut. I do have to tell him the truth. <laughs> but first, let's clean this dress Hey, up. sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. He <sighs> ain't going it's nowhere. The agent. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Not a great impression. I know this isn't his first impression of her, but... Stay cool. That's a fun first impression. Already I'm defensive. It's like, what do you want? <laughs> so, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. <laughs> Can't Tomorrow handle it. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Mm, I'm not trying to antagonize her. Yeah, he came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being, who knows? I hear you, but you're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. Close. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's a statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. Mm -hmm. I okay. don't believe you, Fuck. but... The robbery. Whose idea was it? His or yours? Huh? Oh, I'm throwing Finn under the bus. Finn, it was his idea to rip off Marrow. Did he force you to help, or did you go along with it? Uh... I think he lied. Okay. So, the problem with some of these options is it's like... I wish there was a tone indicator because sometimes I'm like, I want to pick like this tone. And then like when I'm picking out of the options, I'm like, okay, here's the dialogue that fits closest to what I want to get across. And then the tone is like totally different. So, I mean, I'm trying to cooperate here, but like. He lied. I didn't want to help, but he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear 
I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. By the way, this might be viewed as a jerk move to throw Finn under the bus like this, but admittedly, Finn was the one that got Daniel involved in this whole mess in the first place. This wouldn't have happened if he had just, like, not taken Daniel with him. And when I told him to, like, give it a rest and stop the crazy plan, if he actually friggin' listened. I have, like, no guilt over throwing this man under the bus. Nobody I saved his life. Until it's too late. <laughs> yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? Yeah, exactly. She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. Uh, we don't know he's dead. That was him in a hospital gown, isn't it? Finn's not dead. Not in my playthrough. I don't think he died. Did he? They just said, like, Finn's not around. I assumed he got arrested. There was no mention of him. Oh, okay. So I was gonna say, I didn't hear an explicit, he's dead, so... But maybe I missed it. Sometimes I miss that stuff. Mm. I didn't want any of this shit. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are people that want to help. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. <laughs> no one can. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. A uh, liar. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Sorry, Finn. I'm not. That's just karma for dragging Daniel into this shit. Yep. Oh, she didn't want anything to do with this. I wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Actually, what's it? Lucy Rose Jones. That's an amazing name, by the way. Like, Cassidy suits her, but Lucy Rose Jones is pretty great. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Yeah. Anything else? Yes. Mm? Hi. Do you have any calls? Everything okay? Well, she said enough, then enough. You know the rules, Penny. No, honey. I told you I was gonna be away for a while. I'm sorry, okay? You gotta be good. Okay. Bonella, will you down the phone, please? Yeah. I love you. Hola, mamá. Sí. Este... No sé. Todavía estoy en el hospital y... Sí. Oh, I can't understand Spanish. No. Le he dicho que no. Está todo el día con la Playboy. Por favor. Sí, bueno, déjale. I can only hear from looking at her or in her direction. Mañana nos vemos. Un beso. Whoop. Sorry about that. Oh, it's nothing. I wasn't listening. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. Okay, but you haven't found him, though. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you gonna find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him, too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Great. Looking forward to it. Ugh. Or 
Marshawn. Mm. Don't do any... Uh, I don't know about that. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So... How did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through... True. I don't blame you. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just got to keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. Oh. <laughs> Things change, no, I huh? I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now, as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Swabbing because I, I get the feeling they're gonna quiz me on this later. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. Jeez, that's I'm sorry about I mean it's an Sean. eyeball. Wish I could have done more. But dang, that's Dude, that's a lot. You saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch- what? Oh, shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no mm -hmm. smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. <sighs> Catch you later. Ooh, what's in there? What's in the towel? Joey. You are her boss. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. A little memento. Remember my friend. Oh, I've got souvenir. Sacred Hope Hospital. Okay. Okay, we got... Oh, we got... Junked drawings. Yep. My art is trash now. Aww. Okay, letters. Salvation. <laughs> Liza. You always need a towel. The guide tells you. Can't catch shit. <sighs> Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. What? Wow. Aww. Haven't seen you in a long time. Good. We still have our notebook. Our sketchbook. <sighs> I 
know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. He's gonna go find Mom. Nowhere to go. He's gonna go find Karen. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Yeah. And they also the would have cops. told the police. Yep, or the cops. <laughs> I don't know. You can Wait. always trust the police. What's that? Super Wolf. Ooh, hello. Huh? Does that mean... It means that Daniel... Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? <sighs> he's safe? Oh no, he's with a cult though. I can see him again. Oh no. <sighs> huh. Okay, hold on. I wanted to hear it out before I started reading. Had a few beers, Daniel's asleep. Same night every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have time and we gotta hide. It's not easy. Oh, I didn't read it last chapter, did I? We're, we're gonna have some reading to catch up on. Sean, I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We'll give them back to you when you... We'll, we'll give them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. Oh, yeah, we gotta... All I gotta do is find that page with Jacob's home. Mm. Haven Point, mm -hmm. Nevada. Here, let's, let's read some of these. Met the new workers from Europe, Anders and Ingrid. Or Ingrid? Ingrid, or Ingrid. Cute couple, makes me want to travel overseas. Someday. Had a long talk with Jacob. He's like a little kid. He's lived in some religious commune from Haven Point, Nevada. Looks fine here. Free? Oh, no, can't that f go that far back. Okay. It'll have to wait for another time. <laughs> I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. I mean, I don't think he's safe with the commune, if I'm being honest, but... Like, I'd almost rather Daniel be with the police than with... a potentially dangerous group like that. By the way, I'm not okay. saying, like... It's not I'm a blanket statement off, about religion. It's this just... This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. I just figured there's a reason that Jacob wanted to get out of there. Like, there there tends to be some underhanded power dynamics in those kind of situations. I would like to hope he's in a nice one, but I know how this game works. I got I got a bad feeling. Find a way to get the hell out of here. Maybe I could uh, mm? rig a decoy Sean in the bed. I should close these, so nobody sees me sleepwalking away. Let's see. I just gotta get past that locked door and an angry guard. Yeah, that's not happening. Wish I could just walk out. Sweet dreams, my friend. Maybe I can trick him. Say I need an app. My backpack has got to be somewhere around here. They've been working on these rooms forever. So fucking loud. Okay, so the trade seems to be I can sneak out as is without my backpack or any of my things. Not get the guard involved. Or I can trick the guard, beat up the guard, get my things, and get out. Ideally. I don't, I don't feel good about either of those, if I'm being honest with you, but I'm probably going to go with the first one and sneak out. I don't know, I just... I... Well, it doesn't let me get out, though. 
That's the thing. It's or yeah, while sneaking. Oh, maybe. Okay. There must. Can I have some Let's privacy, please? Let's see what we can do. Okay. We've got bed sheets. We've got the bed. Anything under the bed? Nada. Yeah, it was worth a shot. There's a few ways. Okay. All right. Press the call button, which we're not gonna use. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Yeah, let's uh, try this. Let's try it this way. <sighs> nope. Need a superhero to open that shit. No? Can't oh, inspect it? Okay. Let's Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. It's dead tonight. Works for me. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. Okay, what else do we got here? I could yeah. slip into one of those rooms under construction. Yeah, what else do we got? Okay, anything else of note? Okay. <sighs> Can't open that window with my bare hands. Can I use something? Here, I'm gonna go in the bathroom. Let's see what we got. Make a fake body? Oh my god. Okay. Do I have any? Okay. The guard is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. Here, hold on, hold on. Okay. 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 So make a fake body. Call the guard, sneak into the bathroom, and then slip out? Let's try it. That looks so fake, but it might work for a second. Okay. The call button is just gonna bring a nurse in. I wish I could, wish I could close. Here. Maybe. Here, one sec. I could get Joey to help me. Actually, let's check the eye and stuff first before we like really start acting. Yep, that's an eye. This one isn't screwed in. <gasps> I could pull it off, but it's gonna be loud. E okay. Um. First, don't make any noise. Okay, here, I'm just trying to weigh my options here, because there is the chance I could wake him up. How can I go about this? Okay. Well, that's the thing. It's like if I if I had a way to like toggle that, I could do it. But it's like I can't. Um, hmm, okay, 
So my options are I break off the bar, alerting the guard and break the window. I feel like that is like an extreme last resort or we try and pull some kind of like sneaky thing. But as soon as he sees he's not there. Oh, okay. Okay, so then how the heck am I supposed to? Okay. He did mention calling for Joey, but I don't know if Joey's going to help him, though. The windows are secured, but who knows? Jeez, okay. Um... Okay, the reason why I'm really hesitating is because I feel like the game is not forgiving if you try and do something in slightly the wrong way. Like, it's, it's very much you live with the consequences of your actions, and I'm worried that if I start to do something and it doesn't quite go the way I expected and I'm locked into it, uh, that it's not... I'm gonna... I don't want to say panic and then mess it up, but... That is a very real possibility. Ah, okay. I, I'm gonna... Okay. Because it's like if I use the call button. So I've got like three methods to go about this. I don't know, maybe I could Joey call could Joey? probably distract the guard dog. But I'm also worried Joey's just gonna rat me out, though. Like, like Joey likes me, but I don't think he's gonna let me escape. You know? Like, I, I feel like Joey is, like, a responsible adult who will see, like, a teenager trying to escape and be like, Hey... You know I can't let you do that, right? Like, it's one thing to sneak you your notebook, your sketchbook. It's another thing to bust you out of here. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Uh... I, I hate to ask because I know the whole point of the game is to figure it out, but is Joey a viable option or should I look elsewhere? Because again, I don't want to lock myself into something where it's like by notifying Joey is a viable option. Okay. Because the game is presenting itself like it is, but I don't know if it actually is. I don't know if it's just trying to pull a fast one on me, you know? Nah, can't do anything there. You got business in there? Patient calls. Just gotta see what our boy needs. Good. I need a smoke break. Hey! hey that's your job. Go for it. Hey, there's my second oh. favorite patient. <laughs> gotcha. You never stop working, Joey. I'm doing a double night uh, shift. I mean, you would Diane notify him, Diane is out him, with though. the flu, so lucky me. Yeah, I'm fried. But that sweet, sweet overtime. Sean, you look stressed. You feeling okay? I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I know where my brother is. What? How? I found a note in the sketchbook you brought me. He's in Nevada. With, um, a friend of ours. Fuck, Sean. That's awesome. Now that's good news. Nevada sucks, but at least the kid is safe. <sighs> Listen, I, I may Joey, have done a bad thing by telling him that. I need to get out of here. What? Come on, Sean. You know I can't let you do that. You know I'm on your side, man. Now, I don't blame you for being scared. You're leaving tomorrow. But don't fuck around with this. You hear me? I would hope so. Just, 
Joey, I'm so scared. I've never felt like this. Like, I'll be in jail for life, and I'll never see Daniel again. I can't do it, man. I hear you, man. I swear, that kills me to see you in this situation, Sean, but you really want me to help you break out of here. So what happens to me? I lose my job, go to jail. I have a girlfriend, a rent to pay, a future. Well, I don't have a future. Or a girlfriend. Or a rent to pay. I'm just... fucked. I just... I want to help my brother. It's all I can think about. He's ten years old. And out there, all alone. He needs his big brother. Sean. He's laying it on real thick. I wish I could help you. Dang it! Come on! I swear, but I can't do this. Joey, please. Look, it's not fair to ask me to give up my job and my life. To maybe possibly help you escape? I know. I'm just... desperate. Let's forget about this, okay? I'll do anything else I can to help. Now, I really gotta get back to my shift. I'm tired already. Nope, not a viable option in this case. But, but, if the guard is still on smoke break... You have a good night, Doc. Nope. Too bad this isn't a movie. Mm. <sighs> Can't even fit. Here, hold on. After after that scene, hold on. And we're back. All right. Let me just take another look, see. I could trick him into coming in here and then my backpack has got to be somewhere around here. So great. Now he's awake. Try the bar? I guess, yeah. We don't really have much of it. Not to hit the guard, but to, like, maybe use on the window. Let's try it. Let's do it. This is good as any. What am I... Okay. <clears throat> what it wanted me to do. Hey. Ah, oh, shit. What the hell are you doing in there? <sighs> nice job, Sean. <sighs> now the guard is awake and pissed off. Nope, we're not doing that. Uh, let's try this. Don't break the window. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to do a mostly good run. God, that friggin' depth perception's gonna kill me now. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. This is Gracie, dude. Don't freak out. Just 
Get out. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Let's keep going. Why not? Please. No shoes. Don't think. Just keep going. Please just let me do this. Holy shit. Oh. Take a breath, dude. Too fast? Do I have to go slower? I mean, you wanted new socks, right? Yes. Damn. Way too close. Yep, guess no backpack. Because unfortunately, the guard is awake. Time to get my shit from the staff room. Oh, no, we're going for it. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, boy. Mm. Okay, the guard is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. Please get the things. Get your stuff and get out of there. I was gonna say, I'm like, get that stuff now, because you're not gonna have too many opportunities to get it later. Okay, I, I swore they were gonna make me do that. I was getting very tense. <laughs> it's like, uh... <laughs> At least I got the fake body in the bed. Maybe that'll buy me some time. That's... That's Finn. No way. What is he doing here? Ooh, okay. Hold on. Hold on, because some of these are timed. I don't want to... Mm, I've learned. I don't know if taking Finn with me is a good idea. No, I definitely don't want to do that. So I'm just going to leave. I know he's going to end up back in jail, but admittedly. I mean. No, we're just going to go. I know. But if he is, come on, man, break me out. Come on. I don't know. I don't, I don't know Finn anything. <laughs> like, you know, I like I don't hate Finn. There are characters in this game I hate more than Finn. But if it's gonna potentially sabotage me getting away, no. Yeah? How did that go? Just out of curiosity, because I didn't do that. And I'm locked out of that now. Like, was it worth it? Oh, okay. But he wanted you to bust him out, though, right? No? Oh, okay. flip-flop a lot on Finn, honestly. 
It's like, suspicious. Okay, he seems like a nice guy. Mm, nope, don't like that. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't get a read on that, man. Yeah, like he... He's a well-intentioned person who makes bad decisions. I don't think he does anything to be malicious. He's not out to hurt anybody. Not intentionally. Like, stealing Meryl's money? Absolutely. Oh god, driving with no depth perception. Is that... is that advised? Mm, stay awake. Stay awake. Either that or pull over. Like... <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I don't remember. I don't remember if she ever drove. Like, this might be a very ignorant question, so apologies in advance. If you are missing an eye, can you still legally be able to drive? Like, I know you probably can. Like, you're physically able to, but under the law, would they be okay with that? Or would they deem that as too much uh, because you're not able to take in all of your surroundings as easily? Like, I know you can turn your head. Logically, I know they probably... It is? Okay. Again, just a, something I've never thought of before, but I know sometimes there are strange arbitrary rules for having a driver's license. So, that was all. It was just a curiosity thing. But we're out. Okay. Wonderful. People know how to turn their heads. They, they know how to stay aware of what's happening on the road. They're not legally blind. Well, I'm glad Joey now knows where I'm going and probably has told the cops. Yeah, we do have music. Look at that. I, it didn't even click. Or how do we know we're not all just hearing the same music in our head right now? We can play some blackjack. So was there potential that Joey could have been a bio? Like, would Joey have sprung you out of there? Like, did I just choose, like, the bad dialogue options to do it? Or, like, was he always going to be like, hey, man, I could lose my job. My whole life could be ruined and over because of helping you do this one thing. Which is a perfectly legitimate reason not to do it. I don't blame him for it. Realistically, there would be a lot of consequences for doing that. <sighs> Taking up smoking again. Or maybe it was in the glove box. Guess this is my room for the night. Shit. It will never hold until Haven Point. What a mess. Flotus can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Wouldn't be the first car we stole. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. She seems nice. Sorry I stole your car, guys. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. Oh, yeah, what does that say? 
Must-do list. May 8th. Drop off kids. Hospital checkup. Lunch with hubby. Miss Scott's x-ray. Blood test. Pick up kids. Night shift. Oh. Must-do list. What do we got here? Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Not enough gas, though. Here, what do we got? I don't think I looked at my bag. No, I did. At the beginning of the last chapter, I did. Yep. Medical stuff. Uh, I don't even know do how that. long I should keep on using this for. He said another week. And I was not keeping track of how many days it's been. All right. Careful. Okay, good. I don't need to remember what to do. I really thought they were going to quiz me on it. I hope you were paying attention to what Joey said. Man. I should have listened to Joey. Mm-hmm. This is a mess. Oh, come on. Did you interview everyone in that hospital? Who oh, yeah. This one doesn't have writing on it. All right, what else do we got here? Uh, I can get some sleep. Wires, fuel gauge. Okay, not seeing anything else. So we can, pr oh. No, I'm gonna take it just in case. Just in case. Doesn't hurt to have it. Oh, it's a souvenir, okay. Well, there we go, there's also that. Let's go to sleep. Now, I don't think he told Joey exactly where he was going. He said Nevada, but he didn't say where in Nevada. So at least... There's that. I hope Daniel's been okay. What, probably like day three? Out this century. It's a little quiet. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just zoning out. Just Dad. don't do that when you're <laughs> yeah. driving, my son. So, uh, what's Easy the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got four hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect oh, so reward small. for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. Are you? I stole a car. That makes up for when you bullshit me yeah. about needing cash. <laughs> and I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? This is I make hope me you're cry. not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> Oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre hijo against the road. <laughs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> Who? You know. Going okay, I guess. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. It's just... I don't get to see her yeah. too much. Kind of miss her. 
Oh, you're hooked, my son. Don't worry. This is how it goes. Ah, could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. This hurts. <laughs> this hurts. Yes. It's so cool. Hey, Sean. Don't crash the car. He's driving real slow and safe. Like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean? Jen told me to say hi. The girl cannot wait to see you again. Jen says hi. Sounds pretty good, Sean. You think? Maybe. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? Well, Dad, I have one eye, and I miss you. It's too bit, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh. By the way, <sighs> Hey, wake up. No. Huh? huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking mm. kid. Get out. Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no, you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. You don't want that, boy. Ah, shit. Okay, okay. I'm coming. Hold on. <laughs> this Good. might have been a bad call. Now I should have probably just you. driven off, but they'd have the, the plates. You're doing on our land. I drove for so long, I I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign. Didn't you see it? I was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I... got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Move it. Huh. Please. Uh -huh. I just want to go. Oh, -ho. what's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh, yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? <sighs> oh, I, I should have just driven off. That's the moral of this. I should have just driven off. But no, it, the idiots would have jumped in front of the car and then that would be another person hit by a car. Okay, I'm gonna say I lost the keys, but then they're gonna be like, but wait, I was looking in the glove box. That's not yours. This belongs to some lady. We're calling the cops. Here, what are my options again? Uh, I can do not what you think, but, um, I mean... It, this is straight up just not going to end well. I tried to talk my way out of it rationally, and this is just not going to work. So I'm going to say it's not what you think, knowing that they're going to call my ass out on it. Because either way, they're going to figure it out. Take his back. Now. Nope. Dude, come on. Damn it. Get it. I Let's paused it holding. so it wouldn't do that. <laughs> they're like, your lack of action has cost you dearly. So? Nothing good. 
Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother. Leave it alone. Mm, okay, now I'm gonna get time to do stuff. Okay. Mm, but what options, though? I can take it back and then get socked in the face by some racists, or I can do nothing, and they're gonna throw it on the ground. Probably break it. <sighs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Um. Throw it on the ground. Um. If I try and take it back, they're just gonna push me and shove me. I'm, here, I'm gonna try and, not that I think cooperating is gonna do anything either, but I've only got one working eyeball now. And it's just oh, a toy. Your brother? Where is he now? Well, I'm going to meet him. In a stolen car? More lies. <sighs> okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Hey. Let him go. He's got Hold on nothing. a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor. How do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Uh, <laughs> the game, the game's trying to catch me out for doing this. But I want to think about it. Don't do this. Oh, you don't want to share your language? <laughs> okay. Maybe you know this one. Uh... I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> no. Just stop, please. Figures. You come here to steal but don't want to give back. All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? <sighs> okay, sorry, I just needed a minute. I just, I just needed a minute. <sighs> uh, uh... I hate this. I don't know. I told you. Well, that's the only one you should know, boy. Learn it. Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? <sighs> but I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. Um. Okay. Do I actually think he'll let me go if I sing? No. There's a chance, but I don't believe him. But if I refuse, what's gonna happen? I hate that I'm having, I'm honestly leaning towards complying just for the sake of getting this interaction over. Um, I don't know. He could punch me in my one good eye. Like... If they leave, then I can leave. 
but it's getting them to leave without more bodily harm to myself. That's the hard part. You know what? I'm gonna have, I'm I'm gonna say refuse. I'm gonna refuse. No. I'm gonna really? pay for this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop! Stop it, Chad! Uh, what the yeah. fuck, man? Uh. 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 Holy cow! What are you doing? Listen, you little beaner. Get your shit and go. That's what I now. was trying to do this whole friggin' time. Thank you for putting Look, my bag in my car. Just drive straight and you'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man. Okay? Chad, dude, what the fuck? You know what? That could have that could have gone way worse. Fuck! Fuck! That could have gone worse. He could have killed you. It's called subtlety. I I still hate that this happened. This still makes me extremely angry. It's I, the only way I can emotionally get past this is by rem reminding myself this could have ended worse. When you've got a crazy idiot racist who thinks that you've wronged him and he's justified in doing whatever he wants. So the it the could have brothers were split technically apart. been worse. But it's still bad. The oldest wolf was it. badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. I hope we at least make it to Daniel in tonight's stream. I miss that little dork. Oh god, when we see him, I bet you he's gonna have, like, the most, like, trim haircut. Like, it's not gonna be, like, a cool haircut. It's gonna be almost like a military haircut. Or... I'm trying to think of, like, like a bowl cut. Or something. Like, it would be something that, like, a commune would be like, this is the accepted hairstyle. All the men are wearing it. <sighs> like, I... I... I've relented a lot this episode. But I had to give Sean some kind of backbone. I had to have him stand up for himself at least a bit. Like, it's... I don't want to fuck around and find out, okay. but... Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Oh, we got a ways. Almost there. Can I, can I hitchhike? Man, he is looking busted. Here, can I rest? Can I sit for a minute? It does, it looks very oh, hot. Shit, I need a break. Nope, okay. There might be some shade at the next billboard. Oh, okay. Here, we'll just make it to the next billboard. Actually, it's funny. The one time I went to Nevada, like, I, it was in Vegas. It was over the Thanksgiving weekend, the Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. And it friggin' snowed. Like, the outdoor escalators they've got in Vegas, completely shut down. Like, airports had no idea what to do. They're not used to these conditions in Vegas. That doesn't happen there. And it was funny just seeing, like, a lot of the locals walking around in, like, winter coats. And, like, thankfully I packed a couple of, like warmer things to wear like i think i had like one yes. long pair of pants shade but it was like it's cold but it's not that cold i will say the wind was cold though like the 
don't know, just because of being oh, a desert, man. the wind doesn't know where else to go. There's like a My wind tunnel walking me. on the strip. Feels like hiking in hell. Any water Shit. left, or am I out? My throat feels like sand. <sighs> Ooh, let's draw. Never drew a desert before. Huh. It's so empty and quiet. Larry's fireworks. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Get your mind off things. Oh, where was it? Here we go. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. This place is so empty. <laughs> At least I won't mess up perspective for once. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Like, it looks good. He's getting a lot better. Like, I know he was really scared that he wasn't going to be able to draw the same as he had a good picture of it. I'm ready like to draw it's now. It's just a matter of adapting. Like, it I guess I could spice nice. things up a bit. <laughs> Make the whole thing positive. Funnier. I could try adding details. Focus a bit more. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Ah, oh, looks lovely. Man. My eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. Some water. Yeah, drawing. I guess that's all we can do. Just checking to see if there isn't anything else. The desert just goes on forever. All right, back on the road. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his Oop. whining. Yeah, you can't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. Oh. Don't worry about your feet. Just pace yourself. Shit. This place is freaking me out. It's a, a harsh desert. Circle Whoa. of life. <sighs> ooh, Shit. Ooh. Better stick to the road. Oh no, I stepped on the snake again. <laughs> okay, too much. All right, pace <sighs> ourselves. It makes sense. Oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Uh. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's stopping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. Hey, kiddo, going to New Haven? That's where I'm going. Here there's this prophet kid everybody's talking about. Truckers can't be cops. I mean, it's a final destination right? truck. I ain't driving behind it. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> it's right on the billboard.
just... Hey, need a lift? Yes. It's too damn hot to be walking. I mean, I'm gonna die out here if I don't. This might be yeah. a bad idea. Thanks. Hold up. This might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna try. America. Jeez, what the hell happened to you? I ran into a couple of assholes who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. Happens a lot around here. Hey, Anton. You there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> Too much information, but... 10-4. <laughs> yeah, you mean number you. two. You owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. Didn't even know about it, so... Thanks. So... You hungry or what? You look hungry. I am. Thank you. As you heard, my name's Anton. Mm. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. I know. <laughs> I just that's another best one added to the list. Ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. Stop at Larry's Fireworks, sir. I feel like we keep driving past the same billboards. What's your destination? Hmm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh, yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. At least there's kind of some music. I've noticed they seem to be sprinkling more of like the ambient music. Take a nap in, if you want. I guess in case you don't have to stay like, awake. Proper to music be nice. isn't playing. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Yeah, that's like what a fucking Just weirdo a would say, though. Boring trucker. Hey, what did you put in that sandwich? <laughs> it's nothing. It's some my wife's homemade sandwich spread. What do you mean? Oh, I mean, it's good. I mean, it just, Last just stop, curious what you put in it. Even point. Thank you so much. You just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Great. Really? Okay. 10 4, good buddy. I 
Thanks, Anton. Say thanks to your wife for the sandwich. It's really good. Not gonna lie, it kinda made me hungry for a sandwich. <laughs> Just me, boring old trucker man. Life is a gamble, bet on the Lord. Oh boy. Uh Happy Easter. Uh, For sure. Claire wouldn't approve gambling. Elizabeth Fletcher? Wow. Forgot about Easter. I completely lost track of time. Oh, and here we saw a dead rabbit. What does that mean? That's not meant to be like a uh, foreshadowing, is it? I'm so glad this guy picked me up. Here, just want to check I was stupid to worry about him. Hope no, you were people are fully rational Christians. to be worried. Like our grandparents. Alright, let's see what we're in for here. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, a lot of cars for a place in the middle of nowhere. Is it Sunday? Maybe I shouldn't be hanging around the playground. Um, here, let's. Uh, I think he was trying to tell me something about this place. Oh, probably. It's full of weirdos. <laughs> you okay now? Is it gone? I, I think. Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay. It's pre-COVID, obviously. What? You got a bit of a cough? Uh, Get back in there, kiddo. Hello there. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Um, don't worry. You here for the service? All right. Sorry, just pausing for a second. So I was wondering why they were making such a thing back in Chapter 2 about, like, Ah, grandma and grandpa are super religious. Like, you can make a comment that you're a, an angry atheist. So I guess this is where that can come back around. Okay, we'll see how I want to play this out. Uh, yeah, I, I am. But it's my first time. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. I mean, uh, I eat a really good <laughs> Don't sandwich. Thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Uh, what miracle? <laughs> You'll you see. haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. It's Daniel. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Praise the Lord. That poor little girl. Her cough. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Very humble. That poor little girl. Her cough sounds real bad. Her father was nice. <laughs> Maybe people won't judge me here. Oh, they probably will. Wow. Must be a pretty good church to drive all this way. Utah. Where are you from? Not much different than my hipster stickers. People tend to showcase what they love. Actually, I remember seeing a study or like a little factoid thing from some years back. So take it with a grain of salt. They said that cars that had bumper stickers and that on them, or like were okay. a bit more personalized, were more likely to Where like are you, Daniel? be raged at by other cars. Because like other drivers see it more as an extension of you as opposed to just another car on the road. Like it, it becomes more personal. Again, grain of salt. It was a little factoid I heard like a million years ago. But like I can see the, the nugget of truth in there. 
What else is that? Here we've got picnic tables. My eye is itchy again. I can't scratch it though. Nope. Don't want to get infected. Wonder how many people come and go through this place. Probably quite a few. Um do that. I'm just worried if I stray too far, I'm gonna activate something I'm not supposed to, but then again, the game's usually pretty good about stopping that. Where it's like, no, I shouldn't Nevada go that way. Nevada is like a giant slot machine. But this place seems different. What are they doing around here? Except going to church. Uh, y y you nailed it. Or I guess I could. I mean, maybe no one will answer. Feels out of time. Oh, practice Quiet. zone. Weird. Looks like our old training range. Mm-hmm. Isn't that funny? Here, let's try knocking. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, you said it, not me. Maybe I can ask a bit more about this place. No, everyone's at the church. Nope. Okay. All right. Now I can probably go to the playground. I wonder what kind of community this is. Did Jacob really live here all his life? Singing. Hmm. Must be more kids here. Huh. Wonder if Daniel made friends. I don't know if he'd have anything really in common with, like, average kids anymore. He's been through a lot. Can't see anything. Guess it's time to go to church. Said it. No cameras. Oh, feel that cold air. Why are they talking oh, thank about God my brother like that? Oh, hold on. He already knows they're talking about Daniel, but he's like, this kind of looks like Daniel's. Praise be to Daniel, your friends, the ladies. We saw a miracle, child of Jesus, today in Reverend, Church, Reverend Fisher's church. Thank you. I would not believe it unless I saw it with my very own eyes. Daniel is indeed an angel sent down onto us. Hallelujah, Sean Moore. Fake! Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the angel Daniel. He has arrived to clean the filth and sinners from this world. Bless his soul, a friend. He's here to murder. In the name of our Lord. I heard the word and will never forget this day or this church. The Reverend Mother is truly an instrument of the Lord. Amen. Rose Hornsby, Superior, Wyoming. That's That takes balls to write fake on, like, the guest book. I gotta say. Claire had pretty much the same ones. <laughs> Cute. Hey, it's for charity. Me. Steal. It didn't give me an option to donate. A picnic with Daniel? I don't know if I want to. What's going on? Hold up, hold up. Sunday fun day. Come join Reverend Fisher and new disciple Daniel for a private picnic. That's weird. All you can eat barbecue. Limited seats, $20 donation. Noon to 3 p.m. May 14th. Super weird. Okay. Mm. Here, I'm gonna maybe clean up a little bit before I, I walk in there. Shit. Look at me. These people will freak when they see me. There's only so much we can do about that, though. Better clean up first, <laughs> so I don't scare Daniel.
So did Daniel assume he was dead? Like, leave him for dead? Like, I feel like there's a distinction there. Like, we know Daniel took the money and ran. Or did he just, like, panic? And he's been, like, overcome with guilt since then. I don't know. Wait. Ooh. No way. Behold the, the angel, angel Daniel. Daniel? Life miracles. Oh, shit. Reverend Elizabeth Fisher invites you to witness the power of the Lord within our own child and church. Oh, by the way. Wait. No way. I love that they made the him angel white. Angel Daniel? <laughs> oh, shit. I, it, okay. One, they made him white. Two, bowl cut. I knew it. I'm like, it was either going to be a crew cut or a bowl cut. I nailed it. He's going to look so stupid. <laughs> I just love that they whitewashed him. Like, I don't love it. I think it's funny and very in character for a certain demographic of people to be inclined to do this. <laughs> All right, let's... Nice picture. Let's look at these. Wonder if she's in charge of this community. Wonder if they'll let me in. This isn't going to be like a drinking the Kool-Aid kind of cult, right? Our kingdom awaits. It's a little ominous. <laughs> Haven't seen you months. Your hair looks stupid. Well, at least I have hair. Fuck you. Oh, you know what? I bet you he doesn't swear now. Oh, you how can't donations do it. can pay for all of this. Mm, no. I'm going to choose not to do that. Good. If Daniel's here, at least it won't go viral. Can I go up the stairs? Ooh, I can go up the stairs. Ooh. Okay, this works. Faith. Do we hear oh, that? That's a good question. Not. I don't know. <laughs> Faith is not just not a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. oh, yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. You can tell there. who in the audience was dragged to this. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then, he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. A human angel, child. A child graced with the power of God. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Praise you, Here is Daniel, oh, praise be the Daniel. prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, praise to guide us from the wilderness oh, to our God. destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. Come on, Daniel, do some sick tricks. Behold this miracle! Oh, thank you, Daniel. Believe! 
do you feel your soul rising like the cross? Look at that. Bless you, Dan. Rise. Get up. Dan. Oh, God. Thank you, Dan. Daniel's been touched by God. Is he gonna be all like, oh, Daniel's happy? Look at all these people who love him. Now we have a voice. Maybe this is where he needs to be. A messenger. I mean, I don't want that, and you know the they're up to some shady shit. Keeps growing. I don't know. She keeps talking. It's just like, isn't Daniel amazing? And aren't I amazing for bringing you Daniel? Aren't I just the best for being the one who summoned Daniel? I did this. Me, 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 me. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> and God bless I mean, these people wouldn't be here to see his miracles Amen. if it wasn't for her. If anything, she's doing the real heavy lifting. Praise you, Daniel! As our reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah! There's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> I mean, he's got a roof over his head and food. He can play with other kids. This is, this is what I imagine Sean's thinking. It's like, maybe this place isn't so bad for him. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <laughs> yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. We're not allowed oh, to have sucks. medicine oh, or blood transfusions. That's too bad. <coughs> hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Ah. You must be Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? We're not allowed yes. to talk to him anymore. <laughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Hey. Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? What is this place? This is our home. <laughs> our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we were all chosen by God. Who is this Reverend? You don't know her? That's our mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <laughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. Sure. What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle. And the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. I want to see the reunion. I want to I want to see it. Please. Oh, 
<laughs> Daniel, I can't you're sing. the living proof of their faith. And mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh, my... Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up, and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. Didn't you see the glass jutting okay. out of it? <laughs> Did that happen at the farm? Yeah. Because of me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Forget it. It wasn't your fault. I should have... It's okay. Does it... Hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. It's different. I kind of like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. Yeah. I even thought panicked. you were dead. Yeah, I did too. And it's okay. We're together now. Yes. So... Are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We uh, still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look! One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all... so... Clinging overwhelming. to him. By the way, my name is Lisbeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, I bet. you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Mm, kinda. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, mm -hmm. I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Well, first I need to guilt trip your brother into abandoning you here so he well, can keep Sean. being my donation. It's a farm. pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. Liar. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. Very expensive plans. We want a Corvette. <laughs> you can call her out on it immediately. Um... Okay. So my strat right now is to play along because if you start out aggressive, guess what she's going to do? She's going to cut you off from him. And we don't want that right now. We aren't going to be able to convince him if we antagonize the person who's been looking after him. It'll be a process. Hopefully I can do it. But... Antagonizing her, I don't think is going to get us where we want to go. I'm leaving here. With Daniel. Yes. Yes, I know about this reckless journey. Yeah. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Yes, they Mark are. 325. If a house is divided against itself... That house cannot stand. Divided Daniel against sounds more us? like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. Okay, as much as I said, I don't know antagonize. Why you're scared, uh... Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I know what? about that poor man you beat down back in Washington, Sean. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it. <clears throat> I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on. Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me. 
What oh the my fuck? god, no. He he punched what me. What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean! What happened? Your brother came in here impure, yeah, no acting kid. like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. <clears throat> I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer. It's stability. We're together I can again. I can understand why he so wants we can to go, stay. Right? Come on. Get off me, dude. Chokehold? Unnecessary. <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> Let me go, asshole! <laughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! <sighs> there you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! I mean, I I get the feeling I know what's gonna happen, but... Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. I, d I didn't mean that for- Ah. Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders. Like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he <sighs> stayed. Why would Next you time, do that? I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! <sighs> Daniel. Sean? Karen, you won't get him back like this. Let's go. Am I hallucinating again? What is happening? a surprise. Sean, what happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing and that Daniel needed help. I believed him. <laughs> so you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Where are like, we even going? She can't be surprised this reaction You're is... gonna need to rest and clean like... that dressing. Oh, man, okay. We're probably gonna have to stop here once we hit, like, a, a little save icon, but, like... I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay, I think we will stop there for tonight. I was not expecting, like... Like, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was feeling, like... Probably as defeated as Sean was feeling, where it's just like... 
finally found Daniel and now we're being shoved out. What the hell? What am I going to do? And then it's like, that was a, that was a shock. But she should not be surprised that he has this reaction. Like, I don't know the details of why she walked out or why she felt the need to do so. But, like, she must know, like, from their point of view, like, you abandoned them. Like, they're not going to be cool about it. Also, I feel like Daniel would probably like to know that she's there. I think, I think he would be much more likely to go with them if she was there. Because he wanted to see her so badly. Like, does he know she's there? Maybe he, maybe he doesn't. Mm, that's a good question. Like, I would like to think she's worried about them, but unfortunately, I also kind of got to wonder if there's an ulterior motive to this as well. I don't know. But in any case, thank you so much for joining me for another interesting stream of Life is Strange 2, where we had some good, we escaped from the hospital, uh, we had some bad, we were beat up by racists, and uh, a bit more bad, where... <laughs> We got kicked and thrown out of a compound. Good, though. We found Daniel. We just got to convince him to get the hell out of here. It's, yeah, fun? Question mark stream. I, like, I'm invested. I'm absolutely invested. And I'm very curious as to where things are going to go from here. That was a fantastic little cliffhanger that the game had presented itself with. I was not expecting it. We will find out what does Karen want? Will we be able to convince Daniel to leave the cult? Will we be able to exact some kind of revenge on this reverend lady? Because please, I need some karma. I need some karma for this lady, but. Uh, we'll be picking things up on Monday night at 7.30. If anything changes between now and then, the details will be on Twitter, on threads, on Discord. They will be around. But I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. But until then, I hope you have a lovely rest of your week, a lovely weekend, and hopefully I will see you on Monday for some more Life is Strange 2. Until then, have a good one. See ya.